In this video, we're going to minimize surface area. It says you have been asked to design a can with a volume of 852 centimeters cubed that is shaped like a right circular cylinder. The can will have a closed top. What radius R and height H in centimeters would minimize the amount of material needed to construct this? Enter an exact answer. So I'm going to try to make a drawing of what this can, uh, cylinder looks like. We'd have a circle on top, and then we'd have also a circle on the bottom. So it would look somewhat like this with basically two circles of the same size on top and bottom. And then um, if we want to find the volume of that, we're going to say that the volume is going to equal uh, pi r squared times the height. So pi r squared meaning the uh, the area of the one of the circles and then multiplied times the height will give you the volume of this thing. So we're going to say pi r squared times the height is what our volume would be. Now they tell us that we have 852 centimeters cubed for volume. So that really means 852 centimeters cubed is equal to pi r squared. Now they, that's the equation for volume, but they're really asking us to, uh, they want us to minimize the amount of material needed to construct this can. So um, they're asking us to minimize the surface area of the can because that's the amount of material covers the surface area of this thing, not the volume. So what is the surface area equation? So I'm just gonna say that the area of the surface is going to be uh, basically, these two circles added with a rectangle wrapped around the outside of this can. So if you were wrapping this, if, if you took this height piece and then wrapped it around the can, that would be the surface area. So uh, the equation for that is pi r squared for the first circle plus pi r squared for the second circle plus... Uh, 2 pi r times h. And then if you add those two things together, we end up with uh, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And that's equal to the surface area. Now, if we want to maximize the volume, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite one of these equations and substitute it into this equation. So let's start by taking uh, this equation here and solving for h because that'll be the easiest to solve for. So we're gonna divide by each side by pi r squared. And that will give us h is equal to, let's rewrite like this, 852 divided by pi r squared we're going to substitute that in for H here. So now we can say that AS is equal to 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R times 852 over pi R squared. And then we're going to take this equation and we're going to set it equal, or we're going to find the derivative. Um, because if we find the derivative, we can then find the critical points, and then when we find the critical points, we can use the first derivative test to uh, find the minimum, uh, really we can find the minimums or maximums of those critical points. So that's what we're gonna do. Set it equal to zero, find the critical points, and then use the first derivative test. So we're gonna, let's multiply this out just a little bit. I'm gonna rewrite it here with that being two pi r squared. I'm gonna multiply two pi r times uh, this 852 pi r squared. The pi's will cancel and one of the r's will cancel. So I'm gonna end up with 852 times two, which is 1704. So 1704 divided by, and when I pi's cancel, one of the r's cancel, so I end up with just over r. 
So I can write that as as equals 2 pi r squared plus 1704 r to the negative 1 when I'm getting this thing ready to take the derivative of it. So now I want to take the derivative. And let's see, I would want to take the derivative here and say that this is now a prime is equal to. And when I take this derivative, I'm going to end up with, and remember I'm doing like, uh, this would be dA over dr. Derivative with respect to r, this whole thing. So when I take the derivative with respect to r, I get uh, a prime, and then this would be, 4 pi r plus, and derivative here would be negative 1 comes to the front, so I end up with a plus negative 1704 r to the negative 2. So a prime is equal to 4 pi r minus 1704 over r squared. Set that equal to zero. And then let's solve this. So we're gonna move the four pi r over by subtracting. So we get negative four pi r is equal to negative 1704 over r squared. Let's multiply both sides by r squared. So we end up with negative four pi r cubed is equal to negative 1704. Let's divide each side by negative four pi. So I'm gonna rewrite that up here. And we got r cubed is equal to negative, well, it'd be positive now, 1704 over 4 pi, and then we're going to try to simplify this a little bit. 1704 divided by 4. It does, so that's 426. So I end up with r cubed is equal to 426 over pi. I'm going to take the cube root of each side, so r is equal to the cube root of 426 over pi. So then what I want to do is I want to take this R value because now I found the, um, this would be the critical point R. And what I want to do is, um, and it's the only critical point. So this is going to be the minimum. So we're going to call this the um, absolute minimum. What I want to do then is just substitute this in and find the same value for h then. Um, because I got the radius. This is the radius value that we need for the absolute minimum uh, to minimize the amount of material. But what I want to do is find the, the height value as well. So I'm going to say h is equal to uh, 852. Go back to this equation here. So 852 over pi times, this would be the cube root of 426 over pi squared. Uh, when I plug that in, I've got, let's see. Well, I can write this as, hmm. I think I would just leave it like this. This is a pretty decent answer. Um, I mean, you could probably do some manipulation here, but I really don't see much value in manipulating this any farther. I guess what we could do is write this as, let's do this. We're going to say 852 over, this is pi, and this would be multiplied times. If I make this uh, two-thirds for the exponent, so I'd have 426, to the two-thirds 
over pi to the two-thirds. When I multiply that, I have pi to the first. This is pi to the first over pi to the two-thirds. Subtract the uh, exponents, and I would have pi to the one-third uh, times 426. Oh, I shouldn't write it like that. H is equal to 852 over pi to the one-third, 426 to the two-thirds. And then you could probably write that as 852 over the cube root of pi. And then you've got the cube root of 426 squared. And so now we have our two solutions here. We have uh, H, and we also have R. And those values will minimize our surface area.